Hi everyone, this is my fasting update, day two. And I'm sitting in bed, about to lie down and relax. And um, <clears throat> I'm gonna maybe be a bit different than usual, um, talking quite slowly and um, just taking my time. So you're gonna have to be patient with me. I wrote down a couple of things um, in a cafe earlier because I did go into town again uh, of my experience so far. Um, <clears throat> so um, I guess some of the feelings today have been maybe unexpected feelings and um, one of the things walking down to town that was quite funny um, was that I couldn't actually walk and laugh at the same time. It's like um, my stomach didn't have the capacity to move my legs and also laugh at the same time. So I had to stop to laugh because we were just talking about something funny. And um, yeah, sometimes I was just like bending over laughing. I don't know why, just things were really, really funny quite easily funny even though other people weren't necessarily finding it particularly funny but to know there's there was just kind of a lightness I suppose um and an ease to laugh there's like I don't know I suppose no barriers in the way you just kind of um allow things just to come and then you express it um there's nothing stopping you from just expressing what you need to express so yeah, there was quite a bit of laughing today, which was unexpected. What else have I written? Yeah, so my stomach didn't have the capability of doing both at the same time. It was like my stomach, um, it took a lot of strength and effort to laugh and that I, I just had to stop walking to use those muscles in my like my stomach and my abdomen region or basically the all the muscles it takes to laugh they couldn't do both um because you know it's quite an intense physical thing that your body has to do um and i suppose that felt kind of sensitive and like um it just had to do that one thing and not do both it's hard to describe really um I just put, yeah, the, that my face was creasing up more intensely than it normally would during laughter. It was just, like, really intense. And I suppose because my head is more kind of spacious or... I don't know, it's just kind of a, more intensely noticing that, I don't know, maybe I wouldn't laugh so intensely if I was eating food and had like a brain full of, I don't know, thoughts going on. Um, but you're, I suppose it's just kind of a being really in the moment, really there, really just kind of experiencing that fun and that laughter and that kind of releasing uh, much more intensely. Um, so I still have had um, like stabbing pains in my head today um, and, but I'm able just to carry on as usual. They're not so intense that I need to kind of stop and have an ice pack or something um, but yeah there's still that going on. Um, I still feel extremely light um, <clears throat> and that lightness and my physical capabilities are much less um, so it was <laughs> really difficult for Robin to walk at my pace because my pace was probably quarter of the speed of what I would normally do and it had been raining and you know, Bath's got lots of hills in it, so I kind of felt a bit like, um, a bit unsteady on my feet, like my shoes wouldn't necessarily stop when I put my foot down, you know, I feel like I might slide, and so I, I had, felt like I had to be a bit careful 
um, with my movements and that I didn't have the, the normal strength to kind of um, walk about in a normal way. So I was kind of being a bit careful and slow and steady. Um, so, yeah, I you could also say that I was feeling physically quite pathetic and weak. Um, but as you can see from my face expression and my smiling, um, that mentally I'm still really happy, even if I'm not particularly sharp. Well, I am sharp, but maybe my reactions are a bit slower, especially now. I mean, it's, it's the evening, so I'm now... Um, probably coming on for like 45 hours of not eating um, and it's the longest I've ever done in my life so it's not like I'm used to this or anything <laughs> um, and apparently day three is the hardest I guess today hasn't been as hard as I thought it would be um, but I've probably done more that, than I needed to do physically and I think um, it probably would have been easier if I'd stayed at home and had the opportunity to lie down or or sit more you know I still had to walk a lot um, but I decided that I wanted that distraction and I wanted to be with my family on this last day of the holiday um, the other thing that's happened is that I've started to feel colder in my extremities so coming home in the bus I had a weird sensation of um, all of my legs feeling really cold but like a really pleasant cold um, so it's almost like an energy sensation of cold and you know I had to I took gloves with me today it was much colder today out and I I felt like my hands you know, normally I would have probably felt a lot warmer than I did. And and so I haven't got the heat of warm food or very many hot drinks to kind of, you know, keep that warmth going. And as soon as I got back to the house, I made myself a whole teapot of my um, homemade detox tea um, to warm me up and to rehydrate me more. Um, and I'll probably have another teapot before I go to bed tonight. And, um, yeah, so I guess that was unexpected, just all of my legs going pretty cold. But another thing I've noticed is my eyes. Um, this morning when I woke up, I felt like the whites of my eyes were much more white and they were almost a bit blue. They were so white. <laughs> so I guess that will... I don't know, maybe it'll continue like that, it'll change in time, or they'll get whiter, I don't know, but they feel kind of brighter. And, um, yeah, you kind of feel a bit like you're seeing stuff for the first time uh, when you look around you. Um, everything is much sharper, and you've got this kind of general awareness of the things going on around you as if it's kind of new but at the same time it's not too overwhelming like you can manage that newness and that those that kind of experience of everything being fresh like for example I when I was going through mania and psychosis you have that same feeling of newness and freshness, but everything is so overwhelming um, that it makes you paranoid and scared. Um, but because I suppose there's a spaciousness inside of my head and my body that um, it's all okay. It's all... Um, manageable and everything just is and you can just experience it as it is and I guess when your brain is digesting or your body's digesting but your brain is more full of thoughts then things become 
more difficult to manage and it's like you've got to filter through all the shit to just be but there is so much shit so much less shit in my head that it's all more manageable and okay and that's a really nice thing to experience and to notice a different kind of awareness and consciousness and so yeah like how much harder can this get um I did also have some weird pains in my stomach and I did have a much longer period of time of I'm hungry I need to eat I want to eat um sensation and you know gurgling in my tummy and these kind of different physical sensation in my gut and um but I knew that it was just physical and it would pass and um yeah so I know there are different things that your body breaks down on day three I can't remember if it's protein or fat or what it is but yeah it's a different stage of the physical process of fasting um, but I'm kind of intrigued to know what that would be like and I don't feel like I can't do it. Um, I feel like it's manageable and achievable um, but at the same time we're travelling so we're going to be on a plane, We're gonna. I'm going to be having to pull my wheelie bag um, all the way through the airport because it's hand luggage and then we're getting on a bus, then we're getting on a train then we're getting in the car. It's going to be a long day. Um, so I feel like if it's not manageable, then I'll have an orange and have a little bit of... Uh, basically some calories to get me through because um, it's quite a lot of physical activity that I've got to do. Um, but hopefully if Robin can help me, then he will. And that I'll just continue this process. I feel like I want to get to the end of day three and maybe even experience the ease of day four and knowing what that feels like. Um, for me, that would be quite interesting. And um, yeah, what does that ease of just not needing to eat feel like? Uh, not getting the hunger pangs or yeah be interesting but I certainly um, I love this clarity and yeah I think I've said it all I don't need to say it all again but yeah I'll make another film tomorrow about the fasting and about maybe breaking my fast if I don't manage it, but we'll see. And um, I'll see you again soon. Bye.